Hi, Uncle. I know that you cannot hear me, and I know that me uh, making this video is pointless to you because you're dead. But it's been a rough four years without you. I miss you very much, and I seem I can't seem to get you back because you're under the ground. I miss all the times that we had, and I miss everything that was going okay in my life until you passed away. I blame Debbie for this. I don't blame anybody but Debbie. I don't blame myself. I don't blame my dad. I blame Debbie. The day you had the stroke, you were walking weird. You kept telling me not to call or not to take you to the hospital. And I should have just called 911. I could have saved your life. But we waited too long. And thanks to Debbie convincing me not to call. Like the evil bitch that she is. I miss you very much. I don't know how to explain it. I just... I just want you back. But I can't have you back. Time is not healing me from missing you for some reason. No matter what I do. No matter where I go. No matter where I think. I still miss you. And... It's kind of hard to live a life without you. I was expecting you to at least to live till it's 90. But you failed me. And and the and the and the good Lord took you. I don't have anybody. Great. And of course, why is it always the evil ones that are the longest and the good people die young? I don't understand this. It's the way the world works, I guess. Uncle James, I miss you very much. I really wish you I really wish this was a dream. I'd wake up and you would still be alive and help me through my rough times. Cuz it was just starting to get better too and then that happened. I'm sorry I wasn't a better nephew and I'm sorry for the mistakes I did. But maybe through some weird way, maybe through the internet, maybe this video will somehow get to you wherever you are in this universe or other universes. Just maybe it'll reach you somehow through the internet. I don't know. I don't know where you're at. But I miss you very much. Everybody else in San Antonio still misses you after all these years. I've called them and they just, they get really bummed out when I talk about my uncle. All your friends still miss you as much as they did four years ago. Rosie misses you, especially. She loved you, but she just didn't have the heart to tell you till the last second. And she was about to tell you before you passed away. And then that happened. And, uh, and Joe misses you, and everybody else misses you in San Antonio. The whole south side, west side, north side, east side misses you. Anybody that knew you misses you, because you were such a good person. You never, you never lied to anybody. That's one thing I like about you, is you weren't a liar. You never lied to me like my dad did. At least you told me the truth on how it was. That, and I want to thank you for... I, I just want to thank you for being there for me. I really needed it the most at those years. I, I just... I just miss... I just miss being able to call you. Because no matter what I do, you know, I know you're not going to be there for the rest of my life. Only within, within some sort of, like, spirit or something, like, talking to you to air. Which sounds crazy, to be honest. But I miss you very much, and I love you very much. And I just wish you were alive still. But you're not. And that hurts me very much. 
I can't say the same for my dad. Through thick and thin, my dad never was there for me. Never cared. Well, he only shows caring when he wants to show caring. He doesn't genuinely love me as a son. He never did.